A couple years ago, I remember I was trying to download this one program. And the website that I was downloading it off of was pretty sneaky. What it did was it let you have the zip file right away, but it's password protected. And to get the password, you have to like watch all these random ads, complete all these tasks, play their like shitty Clash of Clans knockoff for like two days. Basically, I wasn't trying to do all that. So with a little bit of coding using Notepad, I was able to crack it in a matter of seconds in this video i'll show you how to code a batch file that can crack any archive this is useful because nowadays i see many people forgetting their archive passwords so this is a useful tool for recovering those old archive passwords by the way this video is for educational purposes only type shit. this video is for educational purposes only obviously don't go steal some archive from someone else's computer and use the information in this video to crack it that would be really bad <laughs> You want to make sure to only use this for ethical purposes to help people out and learn how to defend against it by understanding how it works. By the way, in case you didn't know, a dictionary attack is basically a sort of brute force attack where you give the program a list of passwords and it tries each password on the list until the successful one is found. That's a dictionary attack and that's what we're going to be using today to recover our old archive passwords. All right, so let's get into it. So before we automate the process of cracking the archive, we need a way to just like attempt it normally. So I literally just asked ChatGPT, how can I extract password protected archives through command prompt? And 7-zip is the perfect tool for that. So first you're going to want to install 7-zip and make sure it's in C program files 7-zip. So once you installed 7-zip, let's go through the process of opening a password protected archive just normally using 7-zip through command prompt. And there we go. This is what we're going to be using. 7ZFM is the graphical user interface. So it's kind of like WinRAR. It's the actual like, you know, buttons and stuff. This is how you extract it. You literally just go through your computer. You have the buttons right here, extract, move, copy, delete. But this is not what we're interested in. Since we want to automate this process and that can't be done through like buttons or whatever, we need to be able to do this through code. And luckily for us right here, we got 7Z.exe. So let's run it. Want to click on the bar right here cmd.exe to open command prompt inside of this directory and then 7z.exe x dash p the archive password so for this example we're going to be using doc.rar this is just like something random that i just made just the regular password protected archive uh the password is one two three four so if i type anything that's not that incorrect password let me type one two three four okay and here we go it gets extracted properly and the text file says one two three four so the password is one two three four and now in quotes we have to put the archive that we're going to be using so for me that's going to be right here doc.rar and then to specify the output we go dash o and i'm going to save it to my desktop we're going to save it as cracked if we press enter and in the folder yep it all works all right so that's good but now let's make sure that the error level is working properly so if we check the error level right now if we check the error code let's say we run this except i'm gonna put in one three four five so not the right password and let's check the error code perfect it's two so now we have an easy way in our script to find out if the attempt was successful or not because the environmental variable error level changes whenever there's an error of the program that we just executed no wait let me do it successfully again so one two three four oh okay this is weird it's prompting us oh yeah okay it's prompting us because you know we have the cracked folder here and it doesn't know whether to override it or not i believe to fix that we just need to add a dash y at the end of it and this will basically just say like yes to everything so we don't get that prompt because that's gonna mess up the script so let's run it again and let's see what error level is like. So it's correct now. So when the password is correct and the archive gets extracted, the error level stays at zero. When there's some kind of error with the password, the error level changes. All right, so let's get straight to scripting. This is basically all we need. This is enough to work with. So we're gonna open up our favorite text editor. If you're using Notepad++ as myself, you're gonna head over to language, B, and then batch so we get that nice syntax highlighting. We got uh, echo off. So first we're gonna check if 7-zip is even installed on their system. Cause if it's not, then what's the point of even running the script? So for that we need if not exist, C program files, yes, yeah, C program files, 7-zip, here we go. All right, so now we're gonna input the archive, set-p archive. And now we wanna check if the archive exists cause you know, the same problem could be happening. So I just copy pasted this, except instead of this right here, we're just gonna use archive. And we'll do the exact same thing for the password list. So, because since this is a dictionary attack and we're gonna be, you know, listing through a list of passwords, we need 
the word list to be valid of course so we need to check for that all right so if everything is good we could start looping through the word list so if you remember from last video for dash i in the word list so this loop is just going to keep going until you know the list is empty it's going to go through each password and this percentage percentage a variable will change every single iteration so for us to be able to work with it outside of this loop we're going to assign a password variable to a and then we're going to call our attempt subroutine okay so now time for our attempt over here we're basically just going to put exactly what we use to extract the file except change around some of the variable names and check for the error level so to define it as the subroutine we go colon attempt and we can just copy paste this command right here except we're going to change this to pass this is going to be archive and we'll just make the output cracked oh yeah i forgot about the dash y oh and also we're gonna have to include the entire path for 7z and just add quotes around it because program files has a space in it and if you're like using some kind of program and the file path has any sort of space in it it's gonna start tripping up so you just need to add quotes so now we're gonna check for error level if dash i error level if it equals zero so you know nothing went wrong no errors this means that it, it was successful so we're just gonna echo password found so this is up to personal preference but if you want you can add an attempt line so basically saying you know attempting pass for example and every single password iteration will be like attempt this attempt this and it'll basically just show you every single attempt or if you want something a bit more clean you could be like echo you know, cracking dot 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 it'll be a little mysterious oh i almost forgot after the loop is done so if none of the passwords were found then basically we do need to let them know all right so now we're gonna save it to our desktop um we need a we need a we need a good name for this one okay hear me out so zip because we're cracking a zip file and then pwn because we're we're hacking it so zip pwn zip pwn okay oh f whatever I, I don't even care all right so let's give it a spin we got zip pwn right here this is the same word list that i used in my last video you can find it in my github so i'm just gonna drag this over and Okay, so see, that's the one thing I don't like about batch files. Sometimes it just randomly crashes and you don't know why. I guess it's, I guess we're finding out now. But um, that's part of the process. So we're going to figure this out. Okay, so this ran, this ran, this ran. Oh my God. Okay. Okay, so instead of a dash I to dash F, whatever. Yeah, I just confused it with like the if statement. It's supposed to be dash F. Yeah, my bad. All right, let's save that. Let's try it again doc.rar pass list whoa 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 easy what the f okay i mean it worked password found one two three four and we got the archive right here boom same mistake as last video we forgot to null it out so we're seeing the output of this command and we need to silence that so we're gonna go dash null and then two and two and one and this basically just like silences the command completely it should work now let's give it another shot doc pass list okay 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 so it works now it works i'm just gonna clean it up a little bit for the github and we'll see it in action a few moments later all right she's ready <laughs> what the f was that to defend yourself against this use complicated passwords for your archive so if they get stolen no one can crack them make sure to use a password manager so you don't forget your passwords they stay safe. Like, subscribe. I love you. I'll see you next time. Have a good day.